Hey, hey, how are you guys? So, I've been incognito last week or so because I had gum surgery, so it's difficult for me to speak. I'm slowly getting better. So, for people who don't have degrees, what are the top three programming languages out there if you want to get a job? In no particular order, JavaScript, Python, PHP. So people are going, PHP? Why PHP? Well, just look at the stats on the web. 80-85% of websites on the web are powered by PHP. Why? Because most small businesses use PHP in one form or another. One of the popular ways in which small businesses use PHP is with WordPress, of course. And there are other CMSs way down below, like Drupal and Joomla. But I think number one, not I think, number one is WordPress, number two is Drupal. But there's a whole bunch of other application apps where PHP is used. Well, just old time, simple web apps that small businesses deployed years ago with PHP. And so there's a big demand for PHP programmers just to support that base. That's such a huge part of web development and web design today. So if you don't have a degree and you're looking to get a job, Small businesses where you got to go because big businesses are less likely, much less likely to hire you if you don't have a degree. So if you love Java or C Sharp, these languages are really used in big businesses. That means you're probably going to need a degree. Not 100%, but probably. So just keep that in mind. Why JavaScript? Well, JavaScript is used in every website in the world, of course, for client-side coding. If you don't know what that is, take a course. Um, it's also used on the server side with Node and so forth. So a lot of startups are using JavaScript. And because JavaScript is a light and nimble language, like PHP, much more likely that a small business, again, back to small business, would use JavaScript. So it gives you a little bit more flexibility in that regard. The reason why small businesses are not using C Sharp and Java so much is because they're big, heavy languages. They're very capable. Love Java, love Java. C Sharp, great language. But it just takes a lot more code, a lot more infrastructure uh, to get anything happening with C Sharp or Java for your typical web app. That's a big part of it. Small businesses want to be light and nimble. So they're going to go with a light and nimble language like a JavaScript, like a PHP and Python. Now, Python is my third choice because you can build web apps with Python, just like you have with JavaScript and PHP. But Python is also used in a lot of different areas, uh, like um, web scraping, which is you know scouring the web, downloading stuff, server automation. Uh, it's used all over the place, data sciences, etc. Uh, that being said, you're not going to get a data science job writing Python unless you have that background, that degree, that education. But Python is so widely used in industry and so many different applications, there's a better chance you're going to get a job working for a small business or a startup if you know Python scripting or even a medium-sized business than you will with other languages. So that's my reasoning behind the top three languages for 2018 if you don't have a degree. As you can see, my judgment is not based on a particular technical or nerd-centric point of view. I always look at every technology, every programming language in terms of what the market is like out there, what the market will support, and understanding how people use languages in the real world. One of the basic themes that I put out there on this YouTube channel and everywhere for many years now is you have to be language neutral, language agnostic. What I mean by that is that every programming language has its pros and cons. Everyone is good in depending on the circumstance. So you have to learn to understand that and not get into a camp where you're a Swift coder or you're a Java coder, you're a PHP coder. No, no, you're a developer and you're going to choose the right tools for the right job. Programming languages happen to be one of those tools. Anyway, that's it. It's a beautiful Sunday morning in Montreal, view from my place. And uh, I like to sit out here and have a, a coffee or tea in the morning. Just taking the, uh, the nice vibes because Montreal is fantastic in spring, summer, and fall. But when it comes to the winter, oof, it's a disaster. Although the view is still nice in the winter. You can look at my early videos. You can see some of the views of, this, of the mountain with the uh, snow covering all the trees and so on. But 
In the winter, I like to go to California, Florida or, some, Florida or somewhere else warmer. Maybe Texas. All right, we'll talk soon. Ciao, ciao. I almost forgot. I'm getting more active on my Twitter account, and I'll have a link below. It's just at Killer Sites. And uh, so you might want to subscribe to that because I will be answering questions there and posting little snippets of information, if you will, on coding, on programming, on freelancing, on starting a business, on the Twitter account. I do have an Instagram account and I post photos, but I find that Twitter is a bit better suited for what I do in terms of giving out quick information. So since Twitter has expanded the character limit, I am uh, I know it's been a while, but I was so turned off by the limited character amount that you could post on a Twitter a tweet that I, I just hardly ever used it. So now I'm just as, a, as an experiment, I'm using it again. So why don't you join my Twitter? You'll see uh, extra information that I don't post on YouTube and you'll be informed for sure about any new videos that I put out on YouTube. All right, that's about it for now. Ciao.